guys i just have to share something so powerful that god just spoke to me through regarding so it's regarding a promise that he has made me but he spoke to me through something else to prove a point and it was so funny so i have a thing with spiders i hate spiders god knows that i don't like spiders and um anyway i walked in and there was this black and white one i've never seen one that color before in my life i walked in from the gym and it was there in my hallway i was like hell to the no and i literally ran and got something to squirt on it um it's so silly i know it's like this flash um liquid thing i squirted it on it to try and like drown it i don't know that sounds horrible because it's god's creation as well so anyway i squirted it on it like twice and it was still like wiggling around wiggling around and um I think he, why is this spider not dying yet? Oh my god, I've got some in my mouth. Why is this spider not dying? It was wiggling around, wiggling around. And I'm like, so I put the the flash thing, so I put the flash thing on it. And um, obviously after I did that, because I squirted it twice, I then put the flash back. So I thought, you know, it must be, it must, like, it's got to die. Like, it has to. Like, it was just too much. So then, obviously, like I said, um, it wasn't dark it wasn't dying i was like what the hell what the hell so i ran back to go and get the flash again the flash what the flip is it called flash multi-surface gel that's it and i went back to go and get it and then literally her god was like so he was like it's gonna die it's gonna die and i'm like but god and he's like no it's gonna die like just believe and i'm like yeah but god that's your creation like i don't like, i didn't believe because it's god's creation and you wouldn't think god would you know talk to you about killing something that was his creation and that sounds really silly but you know what i mean because i'm trying to kill a spider and it's god's creation and i'm like surely that isn't god saying that to me like so there's two thoughts like running through my mind it's like it's either god not speaking to me or like you know this is or i'm i basically i was just talking back to him anyway even though i was like that doubt i was thinking you know surely that's not god saying that so anyway god was just like just believe he's like what so you can't believe he was like don't run back for that flash like just like just believe it's gonna die and i'm like but god <laughs> and then i run back and then all of us and i had the flash like i didn't i didn't i didn't listen and then i've had the flash and i went back and i was like wait it just stopped like it just it was <clears throat> so i thought oh my god it's dead like god you were right and he's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh -huh, girl you better listen so anyway it doesn't stop there so then all of a sudden, um, so I'm watching it and then I walk away. So it stopped, right? I walk away. And then I went to the toilet or something. <clears throat> oh my God, my throat. I went to the toilet or something. I then walk back and I'm like, and God's like, do you believe? Do you believe it's dead? And I'm like, I believe it's dead. But you know, when there's a tiny bit of doubt. And it, I said, I believe it's dead. And, and I said it, I believe. But there was a tiny bit of doubt. And I swear, I went back yet yeah, and it's, it moved oh my days it had moved its position and i was like wait god i thought you said it was dead and god was like it's dead it is dead and i was like oh my days and i looked at it and it was it was shriveled up so it moved out but then it was like shriveled up in like you know a little ball like it's like it was it fought to get out of the liquid because obviously it's quite thick like you know you've got to die in that basically so it fought to get out and then it just died and literally it was at that moment god was like <laughs> the guy was just like girl <laughs> now you see this you see this this is what people do this is what i've been doing you know god gives you a promise he tells you this is what's going to happen see this body said it's gonna it's gonna die you didn't believe so you did something out of your own hands because you thought you believed but you didn't fully believe so you just did something to you know move god's hand to assist his hand oh my days this is like um oh my days with abraham and sarah with the prompt the baby promise oh my gosh so you do something to assist god and i went to get the flash to assist the situation thinking god's not going to intervene with a spider god will intervene in anything okay <laughs> Where this is just making me laugh like honestly just talking about it but like so yeah so god said that this is what we do like we assist him in a situation but we don't believe like we've taken an action that god has told us to take yeah we've done the first part but then we don't fully believe and we're like you know things are starting to not look the way you said god things are starting to look a bit or like god are you really are you really saying this like 
So you start doubting, you have disbelief, you then step back a bit from his hand, even though you're not really, but you are. And you tell yourself you're not, but you are in your actions. And then, like I did with this bride, I was like, yeah, yeah, girl, I believe. You know, you didn't believe, girl. You didn't. You you just didn't, okay? So, and then God was just like, this is what we did. Like, but, and the see how the spider, yeah, moved. So, obviously, I thought it was dead, right? And then I walked away because so I thought, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was dead. <clears throat> and then, basically, obviously, when I came back, so I'm not, I believe now, I believe. So, this is in regards to our promises. We believe. We're like, yeah, yeah, okay, God, you know. Things are starting to now look hopeful, and clearly it wasn't. You was clearly disbelieving before, but now you start seeing a few things. You know, okay, no, maybe you are right. Maybe you are. Yeah, you're right. And then you still got a little bit of disbelief, and then something shifts and moves to the left a bit or to the right a bit, and God asks you to have some crazy faith to move this way or that way. And it's like, wait, God, you didn't say that. You didn't tell me to do that. Why, why am I doing that? No, God, no, 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 no. And you start doubting completely until you open up your eyes, open up your spiritual eyes and you see, oh my gosh, this is it. This is it. This is the promise. Crazy faith. God wants you to have crazy faith. So <clears throat> in reference to the spider, when it moved out of its position that I thought it had died in, I thought, you know, in reality, we think this is the promise and we think we're in the place. Then God says, oh, just want you to move over a bit. And oh, that spider moved over a bit. And you're like, oh my God, no, this is not what I thought. No, this wasn't the place the spider was supposed to die. Oh my gosh, I put something on my foot then. This wasn't the place the spider was supposed to die. This wasn't the place, God, where, um, you know, the... No, sorry, this was the place the spider was supposed to die in that, you know, in that little bit where I thought it'd die. And we're like, God, oh, I thought this was a promise. And then God tells you to move left or right or whatever. And you're like, but God, that's not it. That's not it. No, no, God's just like, yes, yes. He said to me, yes, the spider moved over and it died. And that's exactly what happens with us. So sometimes God will test our faith and see how much, how badly we want the promise. So with the spider, when it died and then it, and I thought I believed and I was like, yeah, right, that's it. It's done. It's complete. And it wasn't, it wasn't complete. It wasn't the way I thought it would be. And God was like, the spider had to move over, it had to, you know, wiggle out of its place a bit in order to finally die and rest at its place and complete its death, basically. And that's what happens with our promise. Like, you know, we look like we're, God will stir us up, he will move us and shift us into the place of the promise. However, there's a few more shifts at the end that we didn't expect, that we thought, no, God, this doesn't make sense. This isn't the way you told me. This isn't the way that, and God didn't tell you specifically the, the you know, whether you was going to stop right here or turn left or right. He didn't say that at first, but he gave you the instruction towards the end and towards that one step near until that one step near to your promise so um that's basically what god does and god is not a liar his words do not fall to the ground and i kid you not i feel like god is just speaking so much through me in these videos um this video and i'm just like god like you're really speaking and he's speaking to my situation because i'm in that moment right now god is asking me he, i'm at the place where the promise is about to oh god it's about to come and God's just like, I just want to move you over here a bit. But I need you to have crazy faith. And I'm like, but God, no, this isn't what I thought. This isn't how I thought it would plan out. This isn't what happened. I didn't think this is what you were saying. And God's like, but I didn't tell you exactly how you were going to get to the promised land. I just wanted you to be obedient. And I just wanted you to have crazy faith. Anyway, I hope this has encouraged you.